Hello friends, myself Archana Mogan from KTHM College Nasik, Department of Computer Science. In this session, today we are going to see the chapter number 2 in model 3. The chapter name is Server Management and Firewalls and the topic name, the topic name is which we are going to see today that is DMZ that means delimit, delimiterized zone and firewall features. Today, we are going to cover some topics like definition of wire, firewall, why we have to use firewall, then different types of firewall, what is the advantages of firewall, then definition of delimiterized zone, what is the purpose of DMZ, then design architecture of DMZ and the advantages of DMZ. Then firewalls. Firewall is simply a program or hardware device that filters the information coming through the internet connection into your private network or computer system. A firewall is a network security device that monitors incoming and outgoing network traffic and permits or block the box data packets based on a set of security rules. Its purpose is to establish a barrier between your internal network and incoming traffic from external sources, external sources such as the internet, in order to block malicious traffic like viruses and hackers. Now, we have talked what is firewall. What is firewall? Nowadays, it is a big challenge to protect our sensitive data from unwanted and unauthorized sources. And there are various tools and devices that can provide different security levels and help keep our private data secure. One such tool is a firewall that prevents unauthorized access and keeps our computers and data safe and secure. Firewall can be defined as a special type of a network security device or a software program that monitors and filters incoming and outgoing network traffic based on a defined set of security rules. Firewall is a security device. It can be computer hardware or a software that can help protect your network by filtering traffic and unblock and blocking software from infecting your uh, computer. Firewalls can provide different levels of a protection. The key is determining how much protection you need. Firewalls are designed in such a way that they can react quickly to detect and counter attacks throughout the network. They can work with rules configured to protect the network and perform quick assessments to find any suspicious activity. In short, we can point to the firewall as a traffic controller. Next, what does a firewall do? A firewall acts as a gatekeeper. It monitors attempts to gain access to your operating system and blocks unwanted traffic or unrecognized sources. Firewall acts as a barrier or filter between your computer and another network such as the internet. You could think of a firewall as a traffic controller. It helps to protect your network and information by managing your network traffic, blocking unsolicited incoming network traffic and validating access by accessing network traffic for anything malicious like hackers and malware. Your operating system and your security software usually come with a pre-installed firewall. firewall. It's a good idea to make sure those features are turned on. Also make sure 
your security settings are configured to run updates automatically. Firewalls represent a first line of defense in home network security. Your home network is only as secure as its least protected devices. That's where a network security system comes in. Firewall shouldn't be your uh, only consideration for securing your home network. It's important to make sure all of your internet enabled devices, including mobile devices, have the latest operating system, web browser and security software. The next topic is the types of a firewall. We already discussed that firewall is typically set up, set up a barrier between a trusted network and an and untrusted network. An internet firewall is a device or a software which is designed to protect your computer from data and viruses that you do not want. There are two types of a, a firewall, software for a firewall and hardware for firewall. Software firewall. Software firewall is a special type of a computer software. Runs on a computer or a server. Its main attempts to software firewall is its main purpose is to protect your computer or a server from outside attempts to control or gain access and depending on your choice of a software wall. Software firewall can also be configured for checking any suspicious outgoing requests. Request. Then hardware firewall. It is a physical piece of equipment planned to perform firewall duties. A fi hardware firewall can be a computer or a dedicated piece of equipment which serve as a firewall. Hardware firewall are incorporated into the router that is situated between the computer and the internet gateway. The next topic is uses of a firewall. The uses of a firewall are numerous. Questions like what is the use of a firewall or what does a firewall do or what is firewall and what is the, its function are only natural when some big investment is required. A firewall and its uh, uses are given below for better understanding. The useful thing about a firewall is that it prevents unauthorized remote access and remote control of your computer by hacker for evil purposes. Data security is ensured based on IP address and a protocol. It ensures continuity of operations and availability of information. It blocks destructive or unsuitable or pornographic content. It uh, prevents malware and phishing attacks. It is a safer for online gamers also. There are some advantages of a firewall. First advantage is that monitor traffic. A major responsibility of a firewall is to monitor the traffic passing through it. Whatever the information traveling through a network is in the form of a packets and firewall inspects each of these packets for any hazardous threats. If any chance the firewall happens to find them, it will immediately and block them. Then second advantage is that protection against trojans. Malwares, especially the type of a trojans, are dangerous to a user. A trojan silently sits on your computer spying over all the works you do with it. Whatever the information they gather will be sent to a web server. Obviously, you will not know their presence until the strange behaviors of your computer. A firewall in this instance will immediately block trojans before they cause any damages to your system. Then third advantage is prevent hackers. Hackers on the internet 
constantly look for computers in order uh, for carrying out their illegal activities. When the hackers happen to find such computers, they will start do even malicious activities such as spreading viruses. Apart from those hackers, there can be unknown people such as the neighbors looking out for an open internet connection. Hence, to prevent such, intru such in uh, intrusions, it is a good idea to be with a firewall security. Then, fourth uh, advantage is that access control. Firewalls comes with an access policy that can be implemented for certain hosts and services. Some hosts can be exploited with the attackers. So the best in case is to block such host from accessing the system. If a user feels that they need protection from these types of unwanted access, these access policy can be enforced. Then last advantage of a firewall is a better privacy. Privacy is one of the major concerns of a user. Hackers constantly look out for privacy information for getting clues about the users, getting information about the user. But by using a firewall, many of the services offered by a site such as the domain name service and uh, the finger can be blocked. Hence, the hackers are with no chance of getting privacy details, privacy information of the user. Additionally, firewalls can block the DNS information of the site system due to these names and the IP address will not be visible to the attackers, not be visible to the hackers. The next topic is DMZ. DMZ stands for Delimitarized zone. A DMZ, the definition of DMZ is a DMZ is a perimeter network that protects an organization's internal local area network that means LAN from untrusted traffic. A common uh, the term delimitarized zone is an area between states in which military operations are not permitted. In computer security, DMZ is a physical or a logical subnetwork and that contains and exposes an organization's external facing services to an untrusted, usually larger network such as the internet. A common DMZ meaning is a subnetwork that sits between the public internet and private networks. It exposes external facing services to untrusted networks and adds an extra layer of security to protect the sensitive data stored on internal networks using firewalls to filter traffic. The end goal of a DMZ is to allow an organization to access untrusted networks such as the internet while ensuring its private network or LAN remains secure. Organizations typically store external passing services and resources as well as servers for the domain name system, file transfer protocol, mail, proxy, voice over internet, protocol and web servers in the DMZ. In short, in computer security, a DMZ or delimitarized zone, it uh, sometimes uh, it is referred to as a perimeter network or a screened subnet. DMZ is a physical or a logical subnetwork and that contains and exposes an organization's external facing services to an untrusted to an untrusted usually larger network such as the internet then what is the purpose of dmz the purpose of the dmz is to enable access to some host or systems from an external untrusted network 
that is internet while securing the rest of the network the private network behind a firewall in computer security common setups used for small and medium networks include a firewall that processes all the request from the internal network lan to the internet and from the internet to the lan this firewall is the only protection the internal network has in the setups it handles any nat means network address translation by forwarding and filtering request as it sits as it sees fit for small companies this is usually a good setup but for large corporation putting all servers behind a firewall is not as effective that's why perimeter security networks also called dmz are used to separate the internal network from the outside world this way outsiders can access the public information in the dmz while the private proprietary information is kept safely behind the dmz into the internal network this way in case of security breach the attackers will only be able to access the servers in the dmz network this can be and this can be denying and can lead to downtime but at least the sensitive information is kept safe the dmz network exists to protect the host most vulnerable to attack these host usually involve services that extend to users outside of the local area network the most common examples being email web servers and dns servers because of the increased uh, potential for an attack they are placed into the monitored sub network to help protect the rest of the network if they become compromised host in the dmz have tightly controlled access permissions to other services within the internal network because the data passed through the dmz is not as a secure on top of that communications between host in the dmz and external network are also restricted restricted to help increase the protected border zone this allows host in the protected network to interact with the internal and external network while the firewall separates and manages all traf traffic shared between the delimitized zone and the internal network typically an additional firewall will be responsible for protecting the dmz from exposure to everything on the external network all services accessible to users on communicating from an external network outside network can and should be placed in the de uh, delimitized zone if one is used the most common services are web servers mail servers and ftp servers web server web server is responsible for maintaining the communication with the internal database server may need to be placed into the delimitized zone and this helps ensures the safety of the internal database which is often storing the sensitive data sensitive information the web servers can then interact with the internal database server through an application firewall or directly while still falling under the umbrella of the dmz protections mails then mail servers individual email messages as well as the user database built to storage login credentials and personal messages are usually stored on a servers without direct access to the internet therefore an email server will be built or placed inside the de delimitized zone in order to interact with and access the email database without directly exposing it to the potentially harmful traffic then last one is ftp server these can host critical content on an organization's site and allow direct interaction with files therefore an ftp server should always be partially isolated from critical internal systems a delimitized zone configuration provides a additional security 
from external attacks but it typically has no bearing on internal attacks such as sniffing communication via a packet analyzer or a spoofing via email or other the importance of uh, dmz networks that means how are they used dmz networks have been central to securing enterprise networks since the introduction of a firewalls they protect organizations sensitive data systems and resources by keeping internal networks separate from systems that could be ta to targeted by attackers dmzs also enable organization to control and reduce access levels to sensitive systems enterprises are increasingly using containers and virtual machines to isolate their networks or particular applications from the rest of their systems the growth of the cloud means many businesses no longer need internal web servers they have also migrated much of their external infrastructure to the cloud by using software as a service application for example a cloud service like microsoft allows an organization that runs application on premises and on virtual private networks to use a hybrid approach with the dmz sitting between both this method can also be used when outgoing traffic needs auditing or to control traffic between an on premises data center and virtual network further dmzs are proving useful in countering the security risk posed by internet of things devices and operational technology systems which make production and manufacturing smarter but create a vast threat service surface there are many advantages of dmz approach the access to any service on the dmz can be restricted it can customize firewalls for different purposes it can customize traffic analysis in different areas of a network and it keeps inherently 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 less safe traffic away from critical resources the main benefit of main advantage of dmz is to provide an internal network with an additional security layer by restricting accesses to the sensitive data and servers dmz enables website visitors to obtain certain services while providing a buffer between them and the organization's private network as a result the dmz also offers additional security benefits such as the enabling access control preventing network reconnaissance then blocking internet protocol spoofing and etc in today's session we have covered or uh, we have seen um, what is firewall why we have to use firewall advantages of firewall then what is dmz network what is delimitized zone why it is used and what is the benefit of dmz zone dmz network and etc thank you